Bob and Derek here. Thank you so much for joining me for our look into Miami Hurricane football. Before I trot down this depressing path, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and turn on the notifications. The mess we now know as the U is not what it used to be. I mean, just think about all those really good football players. So many good football players. A few criminals. But some good football players. And now we have what we have. Three years ago, that chain came out. And I told everybody and their brother, that chain is going to be death of y'all. And I got all these people come back to me going, you don't understand the motion. You don't understand this. You don't understand that. And I said, anytime you've got to get fired up by something as tacky as that, trailer trash bought by somebody who just won the lottery for the first time at, and right after they bought their Siberian Tiger they stopped by the tackiest pawn shop they could and bought that chain. I told you that that was going to bite you in the butt because those guys were not excited about football. It was too much motion driven and I was told I was wrong and I said it was going to bite you in the butt and it did. I mean oh I was so right. And a lot of people told me how horrible I was for saying that. But I'm right. And last year, let's talk about last year. Last year's season ended with a very impressive 6-7 and seven campaign with Manny Diaz running the show. Um, yeah, how did y'all end up 6-7 and seven with all that talent? I mean, I'm serious. How did you do it? I'm going to read you some of the players that you lost. They're not coming back. You had them, but they're gone. Michael Pinckney. Ha Shaquille Quarterman. Quarterman. They're gone. You had guys like that playing for you. And you have talent, and you blow it. Your losses last year included Georgia Tech at home. You lost to Florida Inter International, and you lost to Duke. With that talent. Brevin Jordan is out there. He's coming back, I know. But he is... You had all this talent, and you still manage to, to lay a golden turn. I don't know how you. I don't know how you take talent. I, I was reading a, 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 an article where somebody says Manny was just overthinking it with these players. Uh, it seemed like he wasn't. Somebody was not thinking at all because you had the talent to 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 beat. North Carolina, and when you played Florida, I know Florida ended up being better. Oh, have you know that the Florida team you played was led by Felipe French. You could have definitely beat them at night. I watched the entire game from start to finish. Very ugly finish. You should have won that game. Should have should have beat North Carolina. You could have should have beat Virginia Tech. It was not out of your wheelhouse. You should have beat Georgia Tech. You should have beat Florida International. You could have very easily won every game in the season. That did not mean that you were some powerhouse. That's just how weak the schedule was. Okay? Now, I pull for Clemson. I know how the ACC schedule is nothing to brag about. I split it down the middle. You could have three or four more wins very easily. And now you don't have that talent. Key players coming back, Brevin Jordan, you know that. Uh, just run all that. Uh, Al Blades Jr., what a name. I mean, you got that De'Eric King or whatever his name is coming in from Houston. Tell you, if I were y'all, I'd be embarrassed. Like, I would be sitting there scratching my head going, how? But you know, Bobby, it's a different season. It's a 
another season, Bobby. Bobby, how dare you? How, I, I, forget I'm wearing the shirt. I'm talking about your football team that manages. Do you really? It's almost like you take. It's almost like it takes extra talent to suck that bad when you're that good. You got that much talent across. Brevin Jordan's easily one of the top offensive players in college football. I'm a big Brevin Jordan fan. I don't know about him personally. I'm just talking about him playing. I'm a big fan of it. I mean, that guy right there is a game changer. Okay? How? I mean, just how? And I know for some of you are sitting here going, you're not even previewing the team. What is there to preview? Lord, you've already proved you could have Jesus Christ lining up at quarterback for you, and you'd still blow it. I mean, you go out there and you figure out a way to just mess it up. I mean, your schedule. Let's look at your schedule. Temple, Wagner, UAB, Michigan State, Pittsburgh. I mean, North Carolina, Virginia, Florida State, Virginia Tech, Georgia Tech, Duke. And I know within my heart of hearts, y'all are going to figure out how to waste what left of talent that you have, and you're going to blow it. But because you watched this video, and if you made it to the end, I'm going to give this to you. What do you boys need? Well, you do have a lot of your line coming back. So that's a good thing for De'Eric King, all right? Um, he's either going to be the starting quarterback or he's not. What I mean by that is he's either going to lock down, be your leader, or y'all can play this musical chairs with your quarterback you've been playing for the past, I don't know how many years you've been doing it, for a long time. I mean, that good season you had, what, three years ago, playing musical chairs in. Different coach. Different coach last year, first year, I know. That's gonna be everybody that's gonna be everybody's everybody's comment until he's about two or three years in and it's the same results. But if there's if we're gonna change, I'm gonna go back to my rhetoric. Uh you, you somebody's gonna have to be a playmaker. More than Brevin Jordan. Okay? Your defense, now you lost Pinckney and Quarterman, and who's coming in? Well, we got that kid on that Rousse or a Bruce A or what's his name down here? Yeah, Rousse or something. I don't know. He's got one of those long French sounding names. He's a good football player. That's one player. Don't turn over the football. Don't overthink the game plan. If you're playing a team that you've got more talent than, play a straight up simple football game. If your wide receivers can outrun their corners, open it up. If they're susceptible to the running game, even if you're forcing it, four or five yards chunks, take what you can get because the days of the great Miami, as of right now, is over. You just need to get back to standing up and winning games you're supposed to win and not losing games that you don't supposed to lose. Well, look, I'm Bobby Durkins. I tried to be nice there. I mean, it's just like trying to tell somebody with a tooth growing outside of their head. No, you look normal. Hit subscribe button, turn on notifications. I'm Bobby Durkins. You keep showing up. Lord knows I'll keep showing out. Bobby Durkins.